Oglethorpe Obnoticus is one of the few friendly gnomes to Horde players. Located in Booty Bay, this gnome is a gnomish engineer trainer. If you talk to him as an Alliance member, he appears as neutral and tells you, if you're representing Gnomergon, that he has nothing to say to you. If you talk to him as a Horde character, he gives you the same dialogue but will train you in gnomish engineering. Now, this NPC does have a little bit of lore behind him and a couple of secret interactions. Oglethorpe was the inventor of the Crowd Pummeler 960, a boss in Gnomergon. According to the Dungeon Journal, Oglethorpe built the robot as part of a contest to compete with other high tinkers and his was unbeatable. It was such a great robot that Thermoplug stole his plans and created one for himself, and then let loose his robot on the city. Thermoplug is the guy who is responsible for the destruction of Gnomergon basically, and is the final boss of Gnomergon. But before they found out it was Thermoplug, everyone blamed Oglethorpe for the rampaging robot and he was banished from the city. And this is why he holds such resentment for gnomes, and therefore Alliance players. He was framed for a crime he didn't commit, and has no interest in talking to the people who banished him. Kind of. He does have some interactions with Alliance players, as you'll see when we go on with the rest of this video. If you're questing around the old world, in three zones you can come across a mechanical chicken roaming around. Usually the quest for these chickens involves escorting them somewhere and helping them out. And then, you'll be given a turn-in quest, which requires you to go to Booty Bay and talk to Oglethorpe Obnoticus, where he'll thank you for returning his chicken and give you a reward. If you get the achievement Heirloom Hoarder, Oglethorpe is the one who sends you the chauffeur choppered heirloom mount, and he'll send you a letter saying, Adventurer, your wondrous deeds have been celebrated all around the world. In gratuity for your great services in preventing the world's destruction several times over, I, Oglethorpe Obnoticus, on behalf of the citizens of Azeroth, do hereby present you with the ability to relax no matter where you are traveling. And funny enough, this letter is sent to both factions. Which makes me wonder why he's also sending a letter like this to Alliance players. But whatever, if they were to choose a neutral engineering NPC to send a letter like this to both factions, Oglethorpe kinda seems like an okay choice for that. Oglethorpe is also part of obtaining the secret pet, the Vengeful Chicken. In order to get this pet, you have to wait for the world quest, Waycrest Manor, Witchy Kitchen to pop up, and then pull the three mobs for this world quest into one location, and just let them use all of their abilities on a chicken they put on the floor. After all three mobs use their special abilities on the same thing, a quest will appear on the roasted chicken on the floor. The chicken will have a description that says, it looks a little lively for a dead cooked chicken, and that maybe Oglethorpe could help. And when you take the chicken to Oglethorpe, he'll give it a mechanical body and then give it to you as a pet, with a warning that it might go crazy and try killing everyone. But if it does, he's never talked to you. What's interesting to note about the Vengeful Chicken secret quest, and the Mechanical Chicken quest, and the Heirloom Hoarder achievement, is they are available to both factions with no differences if you turn them in as Alliance or Horde. Which leads me to believe He's not as mad at the Alliance as he used to be, or they probably forgot he's supposed to not like them. Knowing Blizzard, it could be either or. Oglethorpe is also most likely a reference to the character Oglethorpe in Aqua Teen Hunger Force. In the show, there is an orange dumb alien named Oglethorpe, who also has a disco ball that he thinks is all-knowing, and he calls it the Orb Nauticus. Oglethorpe in the show also thinks he's really smart. So with Oglethorpe and WoW being named Oglethorpe Obnoticus, and Oglethorpe in the show having an Orb Nauticus, it's a very, almost direct reference. Except for the fact that Oglethorpe and WoW is actually smart. Obnoticus, we seek wisdom. 